our sales cycle is now coming back in full circle. Those that chose to do business with us have an opportunity to do even more business with us. Those that had decided that the time wasn't right now have an opportunity to be back into the sales conversation. Sales is about tenacity. Continue to have a consistency when it comes to making those phone calls. Create a strategy on when you will contact your clients and prospects again and again, and those relationships will be yours for life. Referrals. The way we used to approach sales was going after new customers and new clients all the time. But what we learned was that existing clients are probably the best source of new clients because you can talk to them about who they think would benefit from your services and products most. We have one client that actually is in a large corporate organization. They've been using our product for over a year. We went back to them and said, is there anyone else in your organization that you think that could be using our platform and our product and services more? And instantly they came up with three different ideas and who to approach and made the introductions for us. So a warm introduction. So I cannot say enough about referrals and leads. Okay, so let's come up with a plan to get more referrals and to get clients who said not right now to follow up and continue our relationship with them and put them ultimately back in that sales cycle. So Kim mentioned that we should be sending educational materials like events, webinars, but I don't think we're in a place right now to, to run events because I, I want to do something more personal. I want to create, we should be creating deeper connections. So let's offer the not right now's free 30 minute consultations. What do you think? It's a great idea. Um, offering an audit that they could definitely benefit from. What you could do is jump on a half an hour phone call and just give them some marketing uh, advice. What I could do is have a 30 minute phone call and uh, give them some pointers on how to keep their brand cohesive, right? And um, how to keep it interesting and engaging. Now our current clients. Uh, one thing that we are lacking right now is a gratitude plan. Like we should be sending a thank you basket as soon as they sign. We should be sending one after they complete phase one or yeah, yeah. after they renew. Um, what do you think about cross-selling in addition to that? I think that's brilliant. We've gone through, let's say, stage one where we built their logo, we built a website for them. This is when we can sit down with them and um, offer Stage two offers social media marketing, take all of the branding that we've built for them and tell them how we can help them carry it throughout the social media. This is a chance to start strong because we, we treat our clients like gold. Like we, we, we listen to them, we take care of them and I know for a fact that they'll, they'll, yeah, they would love to refer us and we just need to ask, like just yeah, start asking. Exactly. Start pampering, start saying thank you, start giving shout outs on social, <laughs> just keep it going, yeah. so yeah. And testimonials too. And, oh yes, and asking for testimonials. So yeah. at first, we, I was just gonna ask clients to leave us a Google review, and I think that's not enough. I feel like Kim's idea of putting it all on video is brilliant. It's awesome. <laughs> yeah, so. get more referrals. <laughs> Referrals, the fundamentals, truly. Asking that big question of your client, hey, could you refer us to somebody that you know? Sometimes the answer is no, but it's not always no. So does it hurt to ask? There's no risk whatsoever. And you never know if that's gonna pay off today or down the road. Certainly referrals are a big part of our sales process. Hi Simon, this is Tracy calling from Land Solutions. Follow-ups are critical to our business. We offer virtual CIO services, so we are meeting with our, all of our clients on a regular basis. We need to understand if their business is building and growing or if it's shrinking. And we provide services and solutions that make sense based on what their budgets are. 
Getting in front of our clients on a regular basis means we get to show them how much we care and how much that relationship means to us. And that's why follow-up is so important. 10 weeks to learn a sales process might have seemed like a long time when our participants got started, but I can guarantee you that they are moving themselves further ahead than they ever could have been had they spent all their time doing whatever they thought worked. By knowing what to do, they're able to move their sales cycles quicker, create deeper connections with their clients, and ultimately sell more faster. I'm Kim Orleski and I'm ready for you to become our next sales knockout. Come check us out online and on our website.